On July 8, 2025, a record-breaking flash flood rocketed the Rio Ruidoso in New Mexico over 20 feet, five feet higher than in 2024, and within just 90 minutes swept away entire homes, trailers, and three lives, including two children, triggering at least 85 emergency water rescues and devastating dozens of neighborhoods. What caused it? What failed? And how is this mountain town coping now? Stay until the end to understand why Ruidoso, still scarred by last year's wildfires, may never be the same. A sudden monsoon thunderstorm pounded the burn-scarred hills above Ruidoso. In about 90 minutes, 3.5 inches of rain fell over the South Fork and salt fire scars. The scorched soil, hydrophobic and bare after the June 2024 fires that destroyed over 1,400 structures, couldn't absorb a drop. No! Oh my God! Holy shit! hillsides turned into instant rivers. The Rio Ruidoso rose from a calm stream to a record crest, over 20 feet, roughly six meters, shocking local gauge operators and likely the highest ever recorded there. Water, mud, logs, even homes hurtled downstream. A house seen floating in dramatic footage turned out to be unoccupied, but became an eerie symbol of what was lost. At a riverside RV park, a freak tragedy claimed three lives a seven-year-old boy and his four-year-old sister, children of a Fort Bliss soldier, and an adult man in his 40s or 50s. The flooded stream swept them downstream. Their bodies were recovered miles away. Another man remains missing. Emergency teams executed between 50 and 85 swift water rescues. Residents were pulled from trees, vehicles, even homes submerged by waist-deep muddy torrents. Roads like White Mountain Road, Paradise Canyon, and Cedar Creek were closed instantly. Bridges collapsed, trails vanished, streets disappeared under debris and sludge. Officials with the National Weather Service had issued a flash flood emergency. Social media alerts warned, this water will carry you away. Evacuation orders came too late for some. First responders used helicopters, boats, and boots on the ground as conditions deteriorated minute by minute. As night fell, damage assessments began. Initial reports cited 35 to 50 homes damaged or destroyed. But local officials revised that number up to between 200 and 400 homes by mid-afternoon July 10th after further surveying. At least three more people were hospitalized in stable condition. Governor Michelle Lugin Grisham visited the scene and declared a state of emergency, requesting federal aid. FEMA advanced an initial $15 million with recovery costs projected over $100 million. Further federal support from USDA infrastructure grants is still pending. Mayor Lynn Crawford admitted the emotional toll. Our hearts are broken. Here comes something big. Right by that house. Right oh, man. Yep. Uh, the whole thing is the whole hot tub. Yep. I'm so glad. I want to watch the water. Uh oh, there comes the house. The house oh my gosh, y'all. Look at Oh no. Oh no. Oh my gosh. 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 Oh my gosh.
community resilience is being tested again. After wildfire recovery earlier this year, officials warn more rain is likely and urge residents to stay alert and avoid flood-prone zones. This disaster stripped away more than property. It revealed how eroded ecosystems, incomplete mitigation projects, and climate-driven intense rainfall can combine into sudden catastrophe. Ruidoso's soil now repels water. Vegetation lost in the fires no longer shields slopes. Sediment choked streams. Local leaders have committed to rebuilding smarter, converting flood-prone private land into public buffer zones, removing silt, reinforcing levees, and upgrading wastewater infrastructure. But funding gaps remain, and recovery may take years. For now, shelters are open at the Ruidoso Community Center, Eastern New Mexico University site, and Angus Church. Clean water stations and mental health support phone lines are active. Red Cross teams are assisting displaced residents. Meanwhile, governor and federal agencies scramble to prevent the next flood from striking again. This is nature's warning and Ruidoso's reckoning. When fire scars meet monsoon fury, the consequences can be swift, tragic, and forever transformative.